I, I had a strategy for the Arsenal game and the Porto game, and it almost worked. Uh, for Arsenal, we played a really rotated side. I, it was a tripping goal. Then Laird, Anderson, Wanjo, Riedewald is the back four. Stockbridge and Blanco is the midfielders. Bayern and Versharen is the attacking midfielders. Clark and Verone up top is the strikers. Verone rewarded me with two goals. Unfortunately, we kind of got FM'd because it was a draw game. We clawed the draw back, and Gabriel Martinelli scored in the 83rd minute to give Arsenal the win. However, it turned out well for us because three days later, we played Porto. I had my best 11 on, well, let me rephrase that, my best healthy 11 on the field, and we absolutely thumped them 4 0. Xerxes a goal, Guayhi a goal, Anderson a goal, Fatu a goal. And that leaves us currently in second place. If we beat Bruges today, we clinch a spot. Against Liverpool, we drew two all, Esposito a goal, Bayern a goal, and then, uh, yeah, it was, we, we just. They got a goal in the 89th minute from Harvey Elvett, and then Jeremy Pino scored in the 93rd minute. It was, I literally got up and walked away from the computer for, for a good half hour. You know, I don't mind losing, but losing late like that. It seems to be a common theme with this team. Uh, we got a revenge on Man United. Uh, we beat them 2-1. Xerxes again a brace of goals. He's turned into a very good pickup. For for what I paid to get him, the 15, 15 and a half million. Yeah, the 15 and a half million. Already in 11 games, he's rewarded me with 12 goals, 2 assists, and 3 players in the match. Now granted, 5 of those goals came in one game. But still, I can't hold that against the guy. So we're going to play Club Bruce today. And then we're going to play Brighton. Now, if... We beat Bruges and we qualify. I haven't played Inter. I should probably play Inter. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll play Bruges and Brighton today, and then we'll have a short break. We'll do Inter and Southampton, and then we'll have another break and come back for our FA Cup third round game, which is going to be right when the uh, transfer window is started. So uh, let me double check my best 11 here. My best available 11. Okay, you know what? I need to do this. I keep... I had a bunch of trial players in, and I couldn't see them, and so I took that off and then forgot to put it back on. So we're resting Clark. We're resting Stockbridge. Everyone else is match fit and ready. So we got a turban goal. Kwehi, Zagadu, Anderson, Kasuno as the defensive back four. Sayoni and Chowdhury as the midfielders. Esposito and Fatua as the attack midfielders. Xerxes and Peligri. Xerxes and Peligri up top as the strikers. Peligri is back from injury. Uh, he is mostly match fit. He's good for about 75 minutes. But we have um, Baena and where the heck did Blanco go? He's right there. Blanco on the bench as well in case... Uh, no, that's not the Blanco I'm looking for. It's not Blanco I'm looking for. It's Verón and Verón's right there. Jeez. We'll keep an eye on Peligri. We don't want to run him into the ground. Iago on the throw-in. To Long. Back to Iago. To Long. Crosses it in. Guayhi knocks it away. Elena gets to it, though. Mata. Not that Mata. Clinton Mata. Vanekin to Lang. Iago off the crossbar. Dodged a bullet there. Kasunu on the throw-in. Chaudhuri heads it back to Kasunu. He gets it up to Fatuu. Chowdhury gets it from Fatuu. Sends it across the field to Guayhi. Guayhi cuts inside. Gets it to Chowdhury. Over to Fatuu. Back to Kasunu. Fatuu up into space. Peligri's not going to get there. Nasoki sends it back to Mignole. Mignole bombs it forward to no one in a bruise uniform. Kasunu to Fatuu. Back to Kasunu. Fatuu back and forth. Chowdhury. Sayoni up into space. Poligri got by the defender. Taps it over to Xerxes, who scores. That was a very good assist by Poligri. He had the opportunity to take a shot, realized it was high risk, low reward, and instead laid the ball off to Xerxes. That was well done. Oh, had a cough there. Guayhi. On the inbounds. Oh, they lose it. Lang. To Vanekin. Drops it off to Mata. Over to Elenia. Chaudhuri, however, jumps up and intercepts that. Peligri to Anderson to Kasunu. Kasunu feeds Xerxes. Xerxes blows it by Mignolet without a second thought. 
Minio like came out and stopped and then just looked like he couldn't make up his mind what to do, so he decided to do nothing. Coming up on halftime. Doan. Vanekin hits the woodwork again. How many woodwork hits have they had? They've had two. Off the post. Doan. Again, they hit the post, but Nasaki's right there, and he puts it away for the goal. Was he offsides? No, he wasn't, because he had the two players in front of him. I don't know why they're calling that offside. He wasn't offside there. That's interesting. So it's 2-1 at the half. We're doing pretty well. Soa, all the, all the way back to Mignolet. Oh, intercepted Xerxes to Poligri. Poligri gets by the defender, and Mignolet a very nice save. Crossed in, Poligri can't get ahead on it, goes out of bounds. Elena sends it in. Oh, Zoper's fouled. Come on, Turbe. Let's block this. Nope. And it's drawn. Hmm. That's mildly annoying. We are going to go to the attack. Zagadu to Guehi. To Sayoni. Over to Esposito. Esposito finds Xerxes. Xerxes gives the ball away to Guglione. Guehi. Long feeds Gway got by the defender. Turbic comes out and pushes it outside for the corner kick for Club Bruges. I have to make some subs here in a minute. Zagadu knocks the ball away. Spazito is a bit run down, so we're going to bring on Bresheren. They've gone totally defensive. Chaudhuri to Anderson. Anderson to Kasunu. Chaudhuri up to Fatubu. He holds it up, feeds Kasunu. Kasunu loses the ball. However, we get it back for Sharon. Taps up to Xerxes. Xerxes to Poligri. Goes left and puts it away nicely. You can always tell I'm getting excited because I start whistling. That or oh, I'm tired, and I know I'm not tired because it's only 10, 8, 10 p.m. Xerxes, a very nice pass to Poligri. Just totally went around Minule. Minule looked like he reached for the ball. I'm not quite sure why. And that is the game. A come, a, a, I'm not going to say come from behind win, because they came from behind to draw, but well done. Do we secure qualification with that? Yes, we do. We'll still play Inter. Well, did we play Inter? Received 2.39 million. Xerxes was fabulous between goal. Or between was was fabulous attacking the goal, I should say. Let's save the game here real quick. It's a heck of a gap. Brighton is in eighth place. They're doing really well this year, so we've got our work cut out for us. We it still puts Bauman in there. That's mildly annoying. We get Poligri off. Bring on Clark. We will, however, put Fligri on the bench. Bring on Ferdison for Anderson. Bring on Riedewald for Zagadu. Bring on Laird for Guehi. Antonio Blanco for Sayoni. Fatua we're going to leave on. Esposito we're going to leave on. 
But I've got Versharon and Verone on the bench for Fatuu and Benya, Versharon, and Verone on the bench for Esposito. Xerxes we're going to leave on as well. Oh, keep forgetting they do that. Grigoras is one of my better young players. I just can't get him a work permit. Thank you, English FA. That's right, Lampard is at Brighton. I knew that. I remember that. Oh my God, anybody? Moises Caicedo, who last year was one of those unknown hidden wonder kids because he plays in... He played, rather, in Guatemala? Ecuador. That's right, Ecuador. But he is a very, very good midfielder. And if I remember correctly, you know what, we're going to click back on him here real quick. Brighton bought him for $5 million from Independiente. He's definitely turned into a good bargain for them. Blanco tries passing it up for Pierce, but instead, Caicedo up to Barkley, back to Pizella. Macau up to Barkley, Pizella, Macau. Pizella, Potence, Morales. Motor up for Potence. Fees Morelos, who never stopped running, and he shoots it just wide right. Holy cow. That was a bit too close for comfort. Turbe gives the ball away to Adoba, or Bada, rather. He sends it back to Stevens, over to Marcao, up to Caicedo, Marcial, Potence to Pizella. Didn't realize we were on the balance. We need to be on the attack. I got that. Motor to Caicedo. Caicedo rushes forward. Barclay, and he doesn't miss. Nice pass by Caicedo, splitting the defenders just right. Banged forward, Kasunu has it down to Stockbridge. He gets it to Clark. Clark breaks right. Crosses it in. Esposito's there, and he hits the crossbar, and it goes over. Stockbridge to Xerxes, and he scores. It was... Busy encouraging my guys. Off the throw in, that was nice. See this again. Kasunu throws it into Blanco. He gets the ball back to Kasunu. He taps it. To, he passes it to Stockbridge at the top of the box. Stockbridge short tap to Xerxes, who powers it in. Barkley loses the ball. The Turbe kicks it forward. Clark finally heads it down to Xerxes, who gives the ball away. I think he was so surprised Clark actually got ahead on it. Potence runs by the defender. Oh, what a nice assist. Wow, that was... Wow, I need a drink after that. Potence lays it up. Morales is right there just to put it away. No. Okay, we'll bring Polygri on for Xerxes. Fatua is having a horrible game. We're down 2-1 going into the half. Only four shots, two on target for us. They've had 13-6, and six, and Xerxes is out with an injured foot. Let's get it back in a second, guys. Morelos to Lamptey. Motor to Abada. Esposito intercepts it. Bangs it forward, but too far. Macau to Stevens. Back to Motor to Barkley. Abada, he passes it up. Morales is there and powers it in for his second goal of the game. Nice 
Nice ball movement by Brighton. Nice cross by Ibotta. The two was on a 6 2. I need to take him off. Esposito's down to 55% too. So we're going to get Esposito off and bring on Baina, who I'm almost positive plays the left. Yeah, that's his primary spot. And we're going to get Versharen on for Fatuwu. And then we're going to get um, Verone? Yeah, we're going to get Verone on for Fatuwu. Potence. Caicedo stops it, bounces it off. A Palace player, Abad is there, turns around and misses high. Poden sends it in, and they get a fourth. Simo with the header off the set piece. The laptop was beeping at me there, sorry. Sima told, yeah, that was a nice... I'm really not happy with this team's performance. And to be honest, I'm kind of holding my breath to find out what's going to happen with Xerxes. Two weeks. Okay, that's not too horrible. Could have been worse. Although after getting thumped by Brighton like that, I don't know how much more worse it could get. I just said that out loud, didn't I? Okay. Oh, you know, let's save the game here real quick. This has not been a good run of games for us. Since losing to Newcastle, we've lost more games than we've won. That's not a good thing. Our only saving grace is that the other teams around us have been losing as well. So for the moment, Chelsea is eight points ahead of United. But there are one, two, three, four, five teams within two points of each other. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's it's still early enough of the season. The teams haven't broken out yet. In the next couple of weeks, I really think that's when it's going to come into play. By the end of the by by the end of December, we'll know what's going to go on. So uh, we'll come back. We'll play Inner and Southampton, and then. Uh, Take a break. Get to the transfer window. Hopefully we can get back to our winning ways. Our schedule going forward doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's some good teams there. Uh, Chelsea. Where's Tottenham this year? Tottenham always seems to be kind of up and down. They're, on, they're eighth on the outside looking in, but they're still quality. So, yeah, we've definitely got our work cut out for us. So, I just want to go into the transfer window healthy in a top six position and... Not worrying about anything. So, you know, two out of three of those I'll be happy with. This, this These last couple performances, though. Man, the, the one against Porto was nice. And we eked out one against Bruges. But Brighton, I think we should have done better against them. Same thing with Burnley. Burnley's, Burnley's in the relegation zone for crying out loud. And they absolutely thumped us. So, we're, we're just playing down to our opponent's level too often. And we're, we're a better team than that. And we need to remember that. So, if you did like what you've seen and heard, please have a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below, I'll answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellicoe, thank you for